Hey, I'm Corrine Levy, and welcome to Rumor Has It, the show that rounds up the week's biggest tech rumors. You can vote on what you think about the rumors, too, in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. Today, we've got a smartwatch rumor, the long-lost Amazon phone, and the iPad event is next week. Finally. Let's get started. First up, some smartwatch news for you that doesn't start with an I and end with a watch. According to 9to5Google, citing an anonymous source, a Google smartwatch is just about finished. This information follows a report from Android Police saying that a Nexus watch, codenamed GEM, will be announced on October 31st. The thing that sets this watch apart is that it'll have Google Now cards at the forefront. Google Now acts as a virtual personal assistant, offering answers to questions and displaying information that's relevant to you. Google is also trying to equip the watch with a longer battery charge and Bluetooth 4.0 support. Look, I get it. Everybody wants to be a part of the emerging smartwatch market. But until I can use my smartwatch to order Thai food through Seamless without having to dig out my credit card, I'll just sit back and watch. <laughs> See what I did there? Watch. Up next, for as long as rumor has it has been in existence, so has the rumor that Amazon will be releasing a phone. According to a report in the Financial Times, Amazon and HTC are working on a new line of smartphones. Unnamed sources tell the publication that the first of three devices is near the end of development. HTC told the Times that it would not comment about Amazon, but said it is always open to collaborating with carriers and other tech companies. Remember the Facebook phone? Yeah, me neither. Hopefully an Amazon phone, or probably more accurately the Kindle phone, doesn't follow the same path and people actually buy it. And with HTC's backing, it looks like it could be well on its way. And finally, the rumors have been confirmed that Apple will be holding an iPad event on October 22nd. So here's a quickie to whet your appetite. According to leaked images from Chinese site ctechcn.com, the iPad 5 will sport a fingerprint reader just like the iPhone 5S. So obviously, why wouldn't the iPad sport a fingerprint reader? I'm also pretty sure that either it or the iPad mini will come in colors that match the iPhone 5S's. What do you guys think? Are you down to buy a gold iPad? Do you think the Touch ID sensor is a waste? Don't forget to vote and leave a comment and I'll check in with the CNET Council. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET Council's verdict is yes. Four out of five editors think that the next-gen iPad will have a fingerprint sensor, and I agree. Be sure to check out CNET on October 22nd for our live coverage of Apple's iPad event. And I'll be sure to round up all the rumors that were confirmed, or not, next week after the event. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at CNET.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And tune in next week for more tech rumors.